MSC Media proudly brings to you interviews from the virtual red carpet of the 35th annual Virtual Stellar Music Awards. The next question from Sean Colvin, MSC Media. Hi, Sean. Hi, I am Sean Colvin with MSC Media. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. All right, I'm gonna make quick. So this question is for Travis. Travis, I done, hi, I've done a little research on you and I see that um, you had a pretty rough when you was young. And so I see that you're actually grew up in one of Robins. I'm from down that way. I used to be on the radio at Bacon. Hey. So, hey, so I just want to know. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Did you just say WIBB? I did. I was on Blazing 92.3, a Kimla station, I was on WIBB. <laughs> but, but that's okay. I just want to know, did any of what you went through just reading about your father um, when you was younger, um, what happened to you, um, according to what I researched, did that have an impact on what you do now as far as your following for God and the things that you do? Yeah, sure. I, I, I think... You know, I, I think that's kind of where my, my song Intentional kind of came from, just that I think all of life happening got used um, and worked together for um, for the good of those who love them on a thought according to purpose. And so um, I, I had a lot of tragedy early in my age, but uh, early in my life. But I think it helped to really put me on a path and a trajectory of, of uh, focus. For me, music was an alternative to um you know, streets and all of that stuff. So I never really got involved in, um, you know, I don't have the hardcore testimonies like um, John, South South of Chicago, but um, you know, my uh, my life was really, uh, I was focused on, on keyboard, focused on music, boom box, listening to Kurt and John and John Key. And that's how I learned, you know, music. And um, I think it definitely helped uh, give me something to do, you know, um, as an alternative. And so I would say that was the biggest uh, thing that it's had, the biggest impact it's had in my life. Um, just a, a different, I think, understanding of God, um, uh, a broader perspective of uh, how fragile life is, um, and not taking anything for granted. I haven't lost my dad when he was 28. So you know, I don't take life for granted, and I want to be a good father, and I want to be a good friend, and you know, all of that good stuff. So it's definitely had it. Okay, well, good. Well, thank you. Back town. And Back thank town. You <laughs> question. Thank you for your question, um, Sean, and for being with us today. What, 